Chris Dorsey of Virginia Militia, and we're out here at the APAC is Treason event because we wish to let the public know that anyone who supports APAC is guilty of treason because the state of Israel carries out war against the people and they're the number one enemy of the American people. So I do want to uh, read this statement that I had uh, prepared and uh, as I said, I'm going to read this say APAC is treason, and this is why, because Israel carried out acts of terrorism and war against the American people, including the attacks of September 11, 2001, and the bombing of the U.S. West Liberty, all those who support the American Israel Public Affairs Committee are guilty of treason. Wow. APAC unlawfully directs the United States government through blackmail, extortion, bribery, and espionage. The banks, media, military, courts, medical industry, intelligence agencies, and other governing bodies in the United States are controlled by an international organized crime network utilizing the state of Israel as a front from the start of the modern Zionist state of Israel, prominent Jews, including Baron Rothschild, forwarded an illegal policy of terrorism, war crimes, and ethnic, ethnic cleansing targeting the native Palestinian population, which is still practiced to this day. Israel is a hub for the world's most powerful criminal syndicate, the Jewish Russian mob will oversee every global criminal racket, including human trafficking, child prostitution, organ trafficking, narcotics, gambling, and the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Organ trafficking as well. The current president, Donald Trump, is completely compromised and directed by Jewish gangsters, particularly the Judeo-Russian gangsters. Doesn't look like they're too happy, but... The legislative and judicial branches of the U.S. government have been infiltrated by the same network through the clandestine operations of APAC. This network exerts similar control over all world governments and dominates global finance through the Bank for International Settlements, which is the central bank for all of the central banks. The verified acts of war carried out by the Israeli government against Americans and the people of the world is ironically financed mostly by U.S. taxpayers. Enforcing the Constitution for the United States is the solution to neutralize this global Zionist criminal network. We the people required end to U.S. financial support of Israel, arrest and constitutional trials for those guilty of treason. There would be one of them. To ensure law enforcement, the American people require control of the issuance of currency and financial regulation. Additionally, all the weapons of war must be lawfully restored to the body of the people. Control of money and all implements of war in the hands of the people is the basis of the law of the land, the Constitution of the United States. And the birthright of the American people. God creates people. Government is a creation of the people. Therefore, government officials must be subject to the people. And uh, of course, of course, we're talking about Constitution. Of course, we're saying anyone who supports APAC is guilty of treason. Clearly engaged in war against the people. We're here to stand in our country. This is our country. This is not a Zionist state. We have to speak up. We have to require that the people take back control of this government. It is essential. Otherwise, this police state is going to get that much worse. The, the poverty is going to get that much worse. The false flag attacks are going to become harder and heavier. We're not in America. 
This is not the country I remember as a boy. This is not America. A criminal syndicate and a criminal Zionist state have infiltrated and taken complete control. Donald Trump, the current president of the United States, is completely compromised. Shabab Rubovich is a criminal network. Michael Chertoff, Michael Mukasey, Kenneth Feinberg, Alvin Hellerstein, Larry Silverstein, Frank Lowey, Charles Kushner, Tevik Arif, and Felix Sater, Alex Sapir, Stephen Roth, Carl Icahn, Tamir Sapir, former Soviet government official, Robert Mercer, Sheldon Adelson, George Soros, child prostitution rings, control of the money, control of the media, control of the, of the military industrial complex, control of the United States military, president of the Federal Reserve Bank, Janet Yellen, dual Israeli citizen, vice president, Stanley Fisher, dual Israeli citizen. He, he went directly from the job as president of the Bank of Israel directly into being the president of the Federal Reserve Bank. We shall take back this country from the enemies within.